Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I found this mainboard extremely dirty and not running at all. But after a lot of cleaning with soap, water and IPA, I got it running eventually. I even could boot DOS on it. However, the keyboard refused to work completely. So let's take a closer look and try to find out what's wrong with it. First of all, let's do some measurements. Therefore, I already connected the mainboard to the power connector and turned it on. Let's see if it gets enough juice at all. Okay, on this pin I should see plus 5 volts. And I see only 4.8 something. That's already a little bit suspicious. Okay, I can see also some voltage on the data pin, so at least it doesn't seem to be dead. This pin is not connected and this is a clock, I can measure something there too. Okay, now let's take a closer look at the data and the clock pin. With the logic probe we can check if the data is really flowing. And as you can see, the clock pin is OK. When we turn the computer on, the signal goes from 0 to 1. Then it goes to 0 back and the mainboard sends some bits to the keyboard. Now let's take a look at the data pin. Here after the power on, the signal should go to 1, then shortly to 0 and then back to 1, which is kind of ready signal for the keyboard. And this is exactly what we see here. So seem to be everything fine with the data pin. Now let's connect the keyboard again and see how it behaves. Usually after power on you should see the keyboard uh, lights flashing shortly. However, this seems not to be the case for our mainboard. Since we know that the data pin and the clock pin are ok, I suspect the power supply to be the fault. Off camera I made some more measurements. I found that this small resistor gives me a by far too high resistance of 600 kilo ohm. So I think this could be the reason for the problem. I decided to add 100 ohm resistor between the 5 volt power supply and the keyboard pin. This would actually breach the 600 kilo ohm resistor on the front side. So I will not care about that. And after this modification I hope we will get enough power for our keyboard. We should have 100 ohm between the power supply pin and the keyboard pin. And just to be sure that I didn't mix anything, I will test from both sides. Well, it looks a little bit better, however, we still don't get steady 5 volt. The power supply just seem not to deliver. That's unfortunate. However, I hope this is now enough. So let's connect the keyboard again and do our test. Okay, I connected everything. I don't have a cool on the CPU, I think. It uh, okay for the short test here, the keyboard is connected and the power supply, everything's in place. Now keep an eye on the LEDs. When we turn on the PC, we should see them flashing shortly. Yes, that looks good. Okay, now I will go to BIOS and see if I can navigate there. Okay, everything seems to work. I'm happy. I will do some more tests, boot to DOS and play some games. But for this video, that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.